Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII, my friends. We are about to save Renoa for the fifth time and head inside the Sorcerer's Memorial to try and, well, prevent Esther from sending Renoa to the moon or something. Um, we have to save her no matter what, so... Um, and I find it fascinating how the <laughs> Esther soldiers just, just let us in like that as it never occurred to you guys that we might just be out here to save her oh well I guess they don't care are, are you two twins? <laughs> well you guys let allowed us to get in Oh. Well, I guess we don't have uh, much of a choice. So let's save Renoa yet again and watch the cutscene. Bring out the blade. Well, you seem awfully relieved for someone who doesn't want to get out. Oh, goodness. This is bad. What's this all about then? Well, I guess that's that. By what? Well, what's saving you one more time? And we're not even done yet, we're still going to have to save her, uh, what, two more times? One? Forgot. Well, wouldn't you be? Says the teacher who just got who got fired from her job because she was incompetent. Most likely. That's right. Well, she's standing right there, so let's do it. What? He's kind of right, though. Plus, uh, Reno is so annoying that... Well, would it really be that bad to just toss her off the Ragnarok?
Well, apparently Squall has become Renault's lapdog and does everything she tells him to do. So, next destination. Um, the lighthouse. So, there's no point in me. I mean, actually I can. It's fun to drive the Ragnarok. But it's not that far away, really. It's right over here. In the corner, there it is. I figured I might as well... Uh... No, I didn't want to come inside. Yes, I do. I figured that I might as well advance the story a little bit and then do all the side quests and all the grinding and so on. Oh, there's Tuki, hi! We need to follow him. Don't you say it. The things we put up with Tuki. Talk to her about uh, why she's so useless. Yep. Good old Renoa. Frustrating, annoying. <laughs> Until she went berserk and, well, did what she did. How about this? Let's make a promise. Ultimacia possesses you again and then Squall draws out his gun blade and psh, slashes you. This is funny to me how Squall criticizes uh, Safer for being Ultimacia's lapdog, yet Squall is essentially saying that even if Runoa goes berserk and kills everyone, he'll stand by her side, so he's pretty much a lapdog as well. That's awfully tempting actually. Well, some people say uh, Renault and Ultimacy are the same <laughs> person, uh, so you know, maybe you're actually killing Renault regardless. Yes. You mean when you were on the floor crying like a little child? grabbing his arm because you couldn't fight a couple of Iguions. Uh, that sure was a wonderful memory for you. <laughs> the GF argument again, Jesus. <laughs> so you forgot what happened like a month ago maybe?
I'm surprised you remember who you are. Well, maybe you junction too many guardian forces too. I think I have like five junction to you, so maybe that's why. You cry a lot, don't you? I wonder if this is one of the reasons why people think uh, Renoa is Ultimessia uh, because if I recall Ultimessia, well, she actually comes to this region to pass on her powers to Edil later on. So, not that I share that theory anyway, but... He might very well be. So let's go. Do you want something? What? I was just there. That's how you were possessed by Ultimessia. Uh, well, thank you. Okay, well, I guess we won't be seeing Edia for a while until, well, close to the end of the game, so. Thank you so much for your card and, well, see you later. And now we have to head back to uh, uh, Esther, so I'm not going to fly myself over there, so I'll, there will be a little cut here. By the time I get back, I'll be there. And we are back, my friends, standing uh, over Esther's uh, air station. So let's land. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, we are going to meet the president uh, now there are but I'll show you that later um, let me just make sure that we have Enknon equip and the reason why we need Enknon is due to the fact that Esther right now is overrun by monsters um, I don't want to fight them quite yet because I don't want to start grinding and boosting my stats um, 
so what we need to do is head towards the presidential palace in this area right here you can restore your health see it automatically restores your health so remember that when you're fighting in Esther that place will always allow you to restore your health and now we're heading to the presidential palace this is all the result of uh, Ultimatia's possession of Renoa Renoa is indirectly responsible for all of this are you dancing around? Um, uh oh We don't need anything from the star. I always like to go and talk to that little kid. I think she lost her mom or something, so it's kind of sad. Uh, so onward to the presidential palace. This would be, was one of the other uh, boarding spots for to enter the lunatic Pandora. Oh no, she's dead. See Renoa, see what you did? It's Jesus. And Esther was such a lively city too. I love the team. Are you okay, Grandma? No idea. So let's talk with the president. Now after this sequence, you need to be careful uh, not to approach the lunatic Pandora. Uh, otherwise you may you you might board it. It's okay because you can always run away, but but uh, and leave the lunatic Pandora. But it's best to leave that uh, for the end. Hello. So let's meet Esther's president. Well, surprise, surprise. Oh, Ward has let himself grow a nice little beard there. He's wearing flip flops. Why, hello there. Where to begin? Oh, where to begin? I don't even know. Oh, 
Why did uh, Adele need a successor? She seemed alive and healthy. So it's Odin's fault, no? Not really. I just know that seed's an ass. Yes, that's when Renault messed everything up. I don't know why you're surprised by that squall. Uh, Christie's kind of already informed you. So that's a lot of things. Uh, I do want to play cards with Laguna before I actually move on with the story because he has uh, the Squall card and I want that card. Mm, no, this combination isn't very good. Hopefully he uses it quickly. There we go, right on the first try, how nice of him. There we go, the Squall card. And our card collection is pretty much complete at this point. So you don't want to talk about Rain? Oh well. <laughs> well, that's kind of harsh. Well, it's a long story but we'll hear it because it's important to inform people of what's going on. So this is uh, right after the events, uh, after we saved alone the last time that we went into the dream world. 
<laughs> what the? What's going on? Why would you invent something like that and Adel, Adel never noticed it? Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to prevent that. Are we going to chase him around again? Okay, so that's how the lunatic Pandora ended in the middle of the ocean. So far, so good. Well, how could you not be found out, Jesus? I imagine that thing causes quite the rockers. Oh my god, that was... Well... Muscly? Am I just seeing four quadruples of that guy? That's so weird. Man, Adol sure is gullible to fall for something like this. So she's so creepy. She's like me, a Miss Universe. A Mr. Universe. She's human? How so? Adults like Hulk Hogan but purple. Well that worked very nicely, no doubt. Well, that explains how the Ragnarok ended up in space. Yeah, why would you send her alone? Oh, 
Ah, that last part of your story isn't very convincing. Oh well. Yep, that's right. Sure, tell me. Well then, should we kill you? So it's all your fault then. Yeah, for such wonderful causes, isn't it? <laughs> you want to feast the cups? <laughs> Oh my... I suppose destroying the machine in the present wouldn't affect the future somehow? I don't know. She'll become one with everything, I don't know. And that's Renoa right there. So, Ultimate can only possess Renoa, so far so good. I still say that we should just get rid of all the sorcerers in a go. Huh? 
Okay, that's... well... Yep, sounds confusing enough. Okay, well that's that. <laughs> sure. I guess we have to tag along. Got it. What if Sorcerer Saddle say uh, put someone inside her? Let's let me take a hint. That who might that be? She's wearing blue. What if she never possesses Renoa? I'm guessing we're all going to imagine the orphanage. Love and friendship. Ah, well, that sure reassures me. Okay. I guess he's getting a cramp. Typical Laguna. Okay, so if we were to carry on the story right now, we'd head into Lunatic Pandora and get this thing over with. And we are strong enough to do that actually. But uh, I'm not going to do that guys, because there are still a lot of side quests to do, Guardian Forces to obtain, and leveling up to do even though you don't need it, uh, grinding, obtaining powerful magical, there are magic, there are still a lot of things to do. So. On the next episode I'm going to start taking care of a few side quests. First thing that I'm going to do is uh, obtain the um, Kakatua Salmon. So I'll see you there and remember, this might be a very good time for you to go back to Shumi Village and draw some more Ultimas. You'll only need one to draw uh, Ultimas from there for two characters. Um, because we'll be getting the 100 ultimates for the other characters when we take on ultim the ultima weapon. So yes, thank you so much for watching my friends and I'll see you later. Take care.